Memphis. To members of the public, Lisa Marie Presley was best known as the daughter of one of the world's biggest stars. To family and friends, she was a doting mother, a caring friend and a woman who persevered through a life that for all its glamour was punctuated too often by grief. Under slate gray skies in Memphis, loved ones and admirers, along with crowds that flanked a tent set up at the entrance of Graceland, paid tribute on Sunday during a memorial service for Ms. Presley, the singer-songwriter and only child of Elvis Presley who died on January 12 in Los Angeles at 54. The exact cause of death has not been determined by the Los Angeles County Coroner. In Memphis, Ms. Presley was the city's precious jewel every day of her life, said A. C. Wharton Jr., the city's former mayor. And noting the peaks and valleys of her often tragic life, he lauded her for the sheer force of will it took Lisa to keep climbing. The program for the service reflected Ms. Presley's stature as rock royalty and included performances by her friends Alanis Morissette and the Smashing Pumpkins' Billy Corgan, as well as by the Tennessee Mass Choir and the Blackwood Brothers Quartet, a Southern Gospel institution revered by Elvis Presley that also performed at his funeral. A woman with blonde hair wearing a black coat stands next to a woman with dark red hair, also dressed in black. Baz Luhrmann, the director of the 2022 biopic, Elvis, attended the ceremony with his wife, the designer Catherine Martin. He and Ms. Presley appeared together on January 10 at the Golden Globes, where Austin Butler's portrayal of Elvis won him the award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama. Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, who said she called Ms. Presley, Sissy, gave a eulogy, and Ms. Presley's mother, Priscilla, read a poem by one of her granddaughters. Later, a letter by Riley Keough, Ms. Presley's oldest daughter, was read aloud by Ms. Keough's husband, Ben Smith Peterson. I hope you finally know how much you were loved here, she wrote. Ms. Presley was famous from the moment she was born to the man known as the King of Rock and Roll, who transformed American music in the 1950s. But she had a tumultuous life. She lost her father when she was nine and he was 42. Her son, Benjamin Keough, died by suicide in 2020 at 27. Ms. Presley married and divorced four times. She was married to Michael Jackson from 1994 to 1996, and she struggled with an opioid addiction. Less than five months before her own death, she wrote in an essay in People magazine that Mr. Keough's loss had destroyed her but that she had kept going for the sake of her three daughters, Ms. Keough, 33, and Finley and Harper Lockwood, 14-year-old twins. With Ben's passing, Lisa's life and the rest of her family and his loved ones took a turn down a hard road that she was honoring to the best of her ability, seeking out help and choosing to help others who experienced such a loss and pain, said the Guns N' Roses frontman, Axel Rose, before a solo performance of November Rain.